All right, here's the details. It's Roger at mudfossils.com, and I have the videos and the um, results of the CAT scans and the DNA and all that business up there. And I'd like to say it's a very special thank you to uh, Jesse Garant and uh, Associates out in uh, Michigan, and I believe they're up in Ontario, Canada as well. And they did the 3D CAT scans, a magnificent job, very, very nice, and, and they did them in the interest of science, and, and I deeply appreciate it. Thank you. I just want to say from time to time in the video, I'm not a professional at this, I will sometimes say meaning uh, primate, I'll say hominid, or meaning hominid, I'll say primate, or meaning tendon, I'll say ligament. These things are virtually interchangeable. And, and, and so if you pick me up on that sort of stuff, that's fine. Send me a comment and I'll make a notation on mudfossils.com. But the video goes out the way it is. Just understand that I will be from time to time interchanging the, the, the words. Okay, I'm showing you this just so you understand that fingernails are very important and they are one of the features that distinguish primates, including humans, from other mammals. So that's kind of important. Okay, this is a, a 3D CAT scan of a giant hominid fingertip and I say hominid because it has a fingernail and we can see an obvious fingernail that was there and it looks hominid and it looks actually human and I'll show some of the details but if you take your own human finger and I believe this is a left thumb you're gonna have this little bump right here on your finger just like this bump is here all of these little dots here, the little holes, are the, the um, skin investments. And they're all, they're, they let the air, and they're the pores of your skin, basically. Now, it's partially deteriorated. The nail is gone, but what's underneath shows where it would have been. And the skin is, is eroded, but you can see this look, the curve and the folds of the skin are, are, are virtually identical to what you have in your own hand. And the, it would break right here, which it does, right where the, the uh, bone ends. And right in here, there's a very spiky little spot. And that spiky little spot is what's called an apical tuft. And I'm going to show you what an apical tuft like and that's where it is that's the anatomical drawing of a the bone that's in your fingertip and that is the apical tuft and the the investment of the flesh into these bumps created that spiky little spot now these are where your tendons invest which lets you manipulate your fingers around and they hold on to the sides now I'm going to show the details of my um, anatomical uh, my, my fossil. All right, this is a little difficult to see but this is from the top of the finger and there's your your uh, fingernail and that is the apical tuft and if you had it in your hand you could see it a little better but these are those bumpy little nubs that stick in on the end and hold the flesh. All right, you've seen the apical tuft, and this is the tip of the finger, and it's going back this way towards the body. This is the distal end, and this round investment here with these holes all around it, that is the apical tuft at the end of the fingertip. And there's a whole bunch of little investments in here where all the flesh holds itself in and it's, it's a very gnarly end and on the other side it also has that apical tuft is semi-exposed but this is very slightly degraded this is not degraded much at all and these pads here are the pads of your finger and if you can feel you can feel your own finger has a little lump here or there that, that, are, that give these pads and then it's got a little divot in the middle all right, this is the CAT scan of and uh, the 3D image of the 
tip of that finger that has the fingernail showing and this is the end towards the body. I believe they call it the proximal end and the other end is the furthest away from the body, the tip. Now, I believe this is the bone. I have a, a, an anatomical specialist who's going to be looking at this, a structural guy that does autopsies and very, very, very good at this stuff. He'll know better. All right, these shots show the areolar tissue. Now, areolar tissue is between the surface and the basement layer. There's a, a, a areolar layer, which areolar means holy. It's got a lot of holes in it and a lot of uh, voids. And that is the squishy little layer that's on top of your skin. The skin is right on the outside. You got these little holy spots. And then you've got the basement layer underneath and that's what's called areolar tissue and we can see as you scan up through here where these things are and you can see it's areolar tissue and it's all it's all around the whole fingertip it has that areolar tissue that's just the nature of the the soft loose connective tissue all right this is a shot of the fingertip that has the bone stain here, the ferrous bone stain, and it has an apical tuft which is in this bone. You can see this, you see the outline of the bone that's in here? That apical tuft is in there. The bone would be here and here. It's a lot of erosion and the apical tuft would actually be inside there. And there's a center and then there's a bunch of emplacements on the side and that's how the flesh invests itself into the fingertip. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but literally this is a different kind of tissue than this down here. That's like in the palm of the hand, this is like the deep flesh of the hand. And it almost looks like somebody pasted it on there, but it isn't. It's just how it's made. I mean, it's the same as your hand is made. And this is gigantic, 36 inches across. If you hold your hand out, your left hand out in front of you, and lay it sort of flat in front of you and bend your fingers back, you'll see you have this exact same architecture. You have this, depends on how heavy your, <laughs> how thick your hand is, and then you have that, and your thumb goes right off this way. Now since this picture, we found uh, you know several other components, and you know they're, they're big, they're like that thing right there, and uh, there's several other ones that are off at the, um, being scanned. All right, here's another piece of that hand, and this only came out of a 12 by 12 hole, so it's not, this, it has this bone ball, and come over here, follow this over here to this. This is the same place, and there's connective tissue that, the white connective tissue, these are tendons, and there's like three of them, they run all together, zoop, 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 all three together, and then they latch over here, and they do all kinds of things, but this wraps right around like that you see that and underneath there is the ball now if you eroded this away that ball would be right there and if you didn't erode it away very far you would see this muscle tissue coming through and we have evidence of both of those things and these break in in certain areas because there's a chemical transitions and they break where the white turns to the red and I'm going to show you one right now this is one of the, is exactly that spot. Let me back this out of here. Now, this is, you just have to follow me here. That's the bone ball. That's that ball over here, this bone ball. Alright? Now, and it's laying like this. That's, the bone ball would be here. Now, if you turn it over, these are the ligaments. I mean, the uh, tendons. And this is facing the, uh, Actually, I guess it is facing this way, but it is, it's the other side of this. Now, you see the way this comes down and wraps around? We have the same sort of situation here. It comes and wraps around. There's the muscle tissue. That's the actual muscle tissue and fiber, if you can see it. It's, it's very, very prominent. Okay? And on the other side, directly on the other side, weathered off, is the bone ball. And you can see the outer layer of the bone. That's where your calcium would have been, but now it's been nucleophilically replaced. And these are the uh, 
the tendons and they break off and this is the piece that comes down right here if you can see it you see it it's, it's quite apparent it it comes down and then it would have turned into the red muscle <laughs> I don't know what else to say that's what I see and that's this place right here